I've been looking for one of these arch display cabinets to flip for so long. So when I saw it on Facebook Marketplace for $100, I knew I had to drive and get it. But unfortunately, I ended up breaking all the glass in my trailer by laying it on its back. I wanted to use the arch mirror for a separate project, but of course I'm clumsy and broke that too. But I didn't get too heartbroken because I knew I wanted to build some wood shelves and backboard for this project anyways. I used my jigsaw to cut out the arch for the backboard and sanded it smooth with a detail sander. With 3 quarter inch birch plywood, I used my circular saw and a guide from Harbor Freight to cut out the wood shelves. Next, I sanded the edges smooth so that I could apply edge banding and cover up the plywood. This is going to give it a much more seamless look so it looks like one solid piece of wood. This was my first time using iron-on edge banding and the process was pretty straightforward. I removed these little rubber pieces as well as the glass so that it would be easier for me to paint instead of having to tape everything off. I scuffed sanded the entire piece with 220 grit sandpaper and then I mixed the color jet black with a little bit of Hinoki umber just to make the black a little softer. I love the way this color turned out to be a soft charcoal with slightly warm undertones. So I started out by brushing on the first coat of paint for this piece and then I realized that I've completely lost my patience for this ever since I started using a paint sprayer. So I pulled out my paint sprayer for the second and third coat and it was so much faster. To get a nice natural looking wood color, I went in with a paint wash on the birch plywood, which is something like 70% water, 30% tan paint. I layered on this water-based early American stain just to add some more color. These products together are gonna keep my wood from turning orange when I seal it. To seal the wood, I used polyvine, which is a wax-like finish that you don't have to worry about the upkeep of, but it brushes easier than polycrylic. To really quickly attach the backboard, I used my new Hart Brad Nailer. And for the wood shelves, I used the pegs that I already had for the glass shelves. Next, I pulled out my little staging wall setup so I could get good pictures of the arch cabinet to list it for sale on Facebook Marketplace. Having a nice clean background and good lighting from my photos always makes such a difference and helps sell the pieces really fast. I use this heart tripod light to eliminate any shadows so that my photos look really nice and bright when I'm staging. This piece ended up selling really quickly for $750 before I could even bring it into my vintage booth. I think it looks so high-end and I'm definitely going to be looking for more arch cabinets in the future.